All right, well, hey, everybody, Rob Satram here, and uh, I got my dash cam on again. You know, I do video production and SEO and all sorts of things, and usually I like it to look a lot nicer than a GoPro mounted in my car, but here's the deal. As an entrepreneur, you need to leverage your time, and I keep finding myself in the car, and I wanted to convert my car time to productive time, and I keep having all these great meetings with my clients, with prospects, <clears throat> and doing coaching, and I wanna take that coaching and do this in the car. So I apologize if the video looks kinda of bad, I'm sorry. But in this, I'm gonna talk about when you're a graphic designer, a web designer, a photographer, or a video production person, one of the questions that my clients always come up with and ask, because we do SEO and I help with business consulting with other creatives, right? A lot of times they do better work than what I do and what my goal is is to help them maximize their efforts. I want to help them grow and go from good to great, right? So one of the questions I always get when I'm sitting down with other graphic designers, which I'm not really that, but photographers, videographers of any type is they never feel like they're good enough, right? They think, how can I charge a lot of money to a, a customer if I'm just kind of mediocre? Now, first off, I would say that your work does need to be good. But if all you do is think about yourself as outputting some piece of creative work to somebody, it's gonna be difficult for you, especially when you're starting out. Um, so the question is, is how good of a graphic designer, how good of a photographer, how good of a videographer do you have to be? Here's my first point. I would say that you can start with almost any skill as long as you're committed to continuous improvement. In fact, I would say that the first thing you need to do is go out and just find where your price, supply and demand curve is going to land, right? You should show some of the work that you've done and approach some prospects. You have to get your sales going. Approach some prospects and say, I do this for $500, $5,000, $50,000 and bring them through your sales process and you're going to find out if your if your portfolio matches to the demand for that portfolio and all you can do is keep testing the upper limits of that. So here's what that means. You got to remember that you are worth whatever it is that you actually get people to sign up for and get people to like you by the time they're done with it. You're worth whatever you're worth and I I know that sounds really stupid but here's what I want you to know when you get going you should be doing work and growing up into higher billing and don't be afraid of asking for the big sale how you get unafraid of asking for a big sale is a whole other conversation focused on understanding the true value that you are providing the true value is tied much more to the time you're saving them and how you're creating and helping embody everything that they do in a logo or in design. There's also the value of what is this logo gonna go on? Is it gonna go on print? What's your print budget look like? That should be something that you're asking. But the way you start finding out how good of a a photographer, graphic designer, videographer you are is you start doing work and you should continuously increase your price and be able to improve your sales process so that you're doing a compelling presentation of each price point. But just keep raising your price points until your close rate starts to be affected tremendously because what you don't want to have happen is you don't want so much business that you're swimming in in new business. You don't want to be swimming in new business. You want to find the most efficient dollar you can possibly find and the way you do that and just trust me on this is you need to start pushing your pricing up pushing your pricing up and it can feel like you're gouging people but that's because you shop out of your own pocket you know you're asking yourself is it worth it to me to spend that that is not what you should be asking you should not be trying to figure out what they're willing to spend what you should do is keep learning your sales process really well learning your process to convey value, understanding and connecting and doing everything in a sales process so that it's in your favor, but then just be testing the limits to your price until you get to a point where 
you're all right with three quarters of the meetings you have, people saying, no, nah, that's too much. Because if the 25% say yes to you, they're gonna be paying a rate that makes up for that lost business. Don't be afraid of increasing your pricing. And really, I know that feels like I'm not answering how good of a photographer or videographer you need to be, but this is how you test that. You can make money with very little skill by starting small and working your way up in pricing. The key is continuous improvement and testing the limits of your pricing because you might not know this, but you gotta think about supply and demand. As your prices go up, you have your price curve, right? And as prices go up, the demand should go down and what you wanna find is that equilibrium point on your labor dollars and your effort and what you're doing becomes just perfectly efficient so that in a five day work week, you're exactly filled up the way you want to. You're not frantically chomping through um, work that you're uninterested in. But that, if you think about how raising your price, starting out small, you could give it away free. And then the next week you do $100. And the next the next time you do it, it's $500. And the next time you do it, it's, it's $1,000. As long as people are willing to review you, go get Google reviews from all your clients, and that's what you should be doing. <laughs> Start small, execute well, get reviews, and as you're growing and building, you're basically proving your value by getting a satisfactory vote on every price that you've delivered, every service you've done and at that price point. Because ultimately, all you're trying to do is make sure that you satisfy the need. So understanding it, how good of a videographer, photographer, graphic designer you need to be before you can make good money is really all about understanding the, the movement of how do you improve yourself, but how do you ratchet up to find out where your equilibrium of people are saying yes to you at the, a certain price point. You know, you know, Here's the example, you start out at zero, you win, you go to 500, you win, you get a review, people like it, you go to $1,000, you know, maybe you had to get in front of three or four people and 50% of the people you talked to said no, but you had to talk to three or four people before you got one person to say yes at $1,000. You know, at $10,000 or at $2,500, maybe you're gonna have to talk to 10 people in order to get 30% of them to close. You know, what happens is, is as your price increases, you're going to have to do more prospecting and more sales, or you're gonna have to be more patient, and there's a balance there. You don't wanna be so busy that you can't do high margin work but you also don't wanna price yourself into inefficiency because you need to have your open labor time, unless you have something else you're doing in your, in your spare time, you need to be able to utilize your days properly. It makes no sense to be sitting around twirling your thumbs when you really should be working, and yet it makes no sense to be so busy because you, <laughs> you've said yes to too many things at too low of a price. You should never be too busy and you should never be too slow. And the way you adjust that is with your pricing. All of that is predicated on your ability to prospect, getting in front of people, presenting well, and having a sales process that works. So the way you find out how good of a videographer and photographer you are, it starts with executing, getting, start low, and move your way high. As long as people are saying yes, and they're saying you satisfied me, that was worth it, they'll indicate that with not returning, not complaining, and giving you a good review, right? As long as that's happening, you just keep going up, 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 but then you need to keep your prospect funnel full, which means you need to, you need to be in front of people. You can't just sit back and wait. The way you find out how good you are and what you're worth is you need to get in front of multiple people. You need to spend, you need to ask for an appointment probably 10 times a day. That might be grabbing uh, your computer and Googling some of the businesses, pick a sector. You know, go on Thumbtack, go on Home Advisor, go on House. Pick a sector that you want to approach and call and email those people and say, "Hey, you know what? I'm a I'm a graphic designer. I help companies with their logos and their brand. It looks like you have some good stuff. Could I connect with you? Could I buy you coffee? Could I swing out and introduce myself? Um, I'd love to see if you have any needs." Nah, that's all right. You need to do that probably ten times a day. Ask for an appointment because your goal should be to have you know, between one and 10 appointments a week type of deal, prospecting appointments. And as long as you keep your funnel going, basically what you're doing is you're testing your percentages. Because all this is is a, a game, right? 
you'll find out what you're worth by your close rate. Hey, I had to talk to 10 people, but all 10 of those, I sat down and they all said yes. What, what should that tell you? Your price is too low. If you sat down with 10 people and nobody said yes, either you are bad at connecting, you're bad at sales, you're bad at engaging with people, you're bad at presenting, you're bad at uncovering the value point, or, because there's two sides there, or your price is way too high. So what you need to do is you need to work on your presentation, your, your connecting skills, your value, understanding what's valuable to the client and all of that, but then also assuming you can get good at that, keep ratcheting up your price. If you do that, you're going to have some success and uh, I hope that's helpful.